Hey there everyone, my name is Jenny Evo, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another awesome tank tutorial video for you. But first, like always, I have to mention the Discord server slash tanker yard. If you guys want to receive a shout out at the beginning of the video, please go down into the description and join the Discord server. That way you'll be entered into the tank yard. And once you're on the Discord server, find the tank yard section on it and enter either your Java, Bedrock, Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch Gamer Tag, and you'll be entered into the Tanker Yard with these lovely other folks that also have entered and received a shout out. So, what are you waiting for? Get your name in here. I want it. Give me your name. So, with that said, let's get into today's tutorial. And today, we are building this The Revenant Craft Panther, a World of Tanks console exclusive of a Panther variant that. Is like a zombie panther that has come back to life. A Sherman's worst nightmare. <laughs> so let's get into today's tutorial. So for this, we're going to take the left side again. Because this way, I just like to see all the pumpkins and everything. It's that season, you know. Halloween. So there's the old kaiju Oi, And here we are at the World of Tanks section. So let's go on through. And we're going to build ourselves the Revenant Cleft Panther. And boy, this one took a lot of materials, so bear with me on these. As you can see, we have quite a lot today. So we're going to be starting off with Paul Shandersite. Actually, no way, we don't even need that material, so that shouldn't be even in there. We're going to take stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, smooth sandstone, green concrete, brown concrete. Just to start off with the track section. All right, so first we're going to go right here. And I am going to start right here with one, two, three, four, five. Like so. And then skip three. And one, two, three, four, five. Next, we're going to come out here and do one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Same on the side. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now. We're going to change all the inside ones to green concrete. Just like so. And for the outside, we're going to do a green one here and a brown one here. And opposite, brown one here and green right there. So you should have something that looks like this. Next, we're going to grab our stone slab. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, folks, if I'm going too fast for you, go is pause, rewatch, rewind, so you can do whatever you need to do to get this awesome vehicle into your world. So let's continue. Anyway, so we're going to go up to the front and do one, two, one, two. I'm going to put some placeholders down and do one, two, one, two. Then one, two, one, two of the sand blocks. And then we're going to put stairs like this and like this. Just like so. And next we're going to layer it back on the top layer. Right to here. Same with on the other side. There we go. And then for stairs, one, two, one, two. And that should complete the track section of the Panther. There we go. We can remove those two materials. In fact, we're going to just grab that Paul Sandersite, grab it out, remove it. And then we're going to grab. I'm going to build the base of the body first, and then we're going to color it in. So we're going to grab sandstone. Sandstone stairs, smooth sandstone slab, sandstone wall, nether brick slab, and nether brick stairs. Just to start out with. So on the front here, we're going to do one, two, three, like so. And then come inside, and we're going to do one, two, full blocks here. One, two, three. And then more slabs here. In fact, I think we're using the wrong slabs. Yes, we need to be using standard slabs. 
standard sandstone slabs so we can get that zimmerit paste on it because this is a panther after all late war there we go and then we're gonna fill in the floor right to there and then we're gonna build up the body around and you can come in remove that one and fill in everywhere just right here for now and there we go all right so next we're gonna put a single block right here and stair stair and stairs all the way around just like so and then we're gonna do upside down stairs at the rear like that and then we're gonna put two blocks here remove these two and then one two one two there's your exhaust and right here we're gonna do one two three one two three then we're going to do upside down another brick slabs. That way we can get some, uh, the engine compartment here. In fact, on the left hand one, we're going to raise it up by one. And now we're going to fill in this. They cut off the engine compartment. And then we're going to bring this around. Like so. There we go. So next, we're going to come to the front here. And one, one, two, three. Just like so. And now we're ready to put in the turret. So for the turret, we're going to start right here. One, two, three. And do three upside down stairs. Then one, two, three. And one. Then here we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like so. And then just for right, we're just going to put the green block on right now. And then we're going to put the stair here, the stair here, full block, full block, slab, and then here on the side, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to bring this back, one, two, three, right there. And then right here, we're going to put a slab here, a slab here, right, a stair, stair, and then a slab, and a slab. And then here we're going to put a stair, and here we're going to put full block. Full block, full block, with a slab, and then one caught one sandstone wall there and there, and then two up top. And then here we're gonna put stairs going all the way around, like so. There we go. And then we're gonna finish up with slabs all the way around the top. And we're gonna put one slab right there. And there we go and that should do it for the base of the body so we're gonna get rid of these materials but keep your brown concrete and green concrete and so now we're gonna get the rest of the building materials but first so we're gonna get black stone stairs shroom light nether warp block red stained clay and we're gonna do the turret first of so the light system so remove that block and place an upside down stair and an upside down stair right there. Remove this one, put the shroom light there. We're gonna come inside the tank real quick and remove that block and put that shroom light there. So that way it lights up your tank. Next we're gonna remove this block and put the red mushroom, the nether warp blocks there to give it its eyes. And then we're gonna come inside one more time, go inside, and on either side, you're gonna have to remove a block here and there and place in your red glass. So with all that done, let's get the last materials, which will be dark oak wood stairs, stone stairs, andersite wall, cobblestone stairs, and cobblestone slabs. These two cobblestone slabs are gonna go right here and one right there and one right here these are meant to show like the ricochets and bullet hits and everything in fact we're gonna put one right here I know it's a little bit different but there we go so those are done next we're gonna do our andesite walls 
Move that one, replace it, replace it. And here, just alternate like so. And then here, we're gonna one, two, three, like so. And then skip one, and then one, two, three. There we go. In fact, you can even do them on the exhaust right here. So there's that. So next, we're gonna switch to our green and brown concrete blocks. Gonna remove this one and place brown, green, green, like so. And here, we're gonna do remove these two and put brown and brown, and then these two are gonna be green and green, like so. All right. So next, we're gonna do a green block here and a brown block here. And we're gonna remove this and put a brown block there. And then you can put a green one here and a green one here and then a brown on the other end. Just like that. And that should give you some coloration. And you can put, that's gonna be covered with carpet anyway. So there's that. Next, you're gonna grab your dark oak stairs. Replace these two, then a stone stair, then more dark oak, then a stone stair, and more dark oak, and a stone stair here, dark oak here. Also put dark oak right here with a stone stair right there, and then dark oak right here. Two dark oaks up here, right there, and one there with one stone stair right there. And right here we're gonna put dark oak there, stone stair there, and a dark oak here. And on this side, we're gonna start with a stone stair, then two dark oaks right here, just like that. We're gonna do a stone stair here, two dark oaks there, one there, and then two here. Just like that. And then back here, remove that and place that with that and do that. There we go. Do one of these and then one like that. And in fact, we're gonna need these blocks again real quick. Just replace that with a green and this one with a brown. And there you go. All right. So that is done with those. And now we can switch on to cosmetic materials, I believe, yes. So that block can get removed. And let's start. We're gonna start with a flower pot, dark oak wood trapdoor, chest, end rod, polished blackstone button, iron trapdoors, cauldron, birch trapdoors, and spruce trapdoors. All right, so the spruce trapdoors, we're gonna do one, two, and then skip one and place a birch in the center and bring those up. Again, over here in the rear, like so. And just like that. And the same on the other side. One, two, three, with one. There we go. And then one, two, and three, and one. There's that. Your cauldron's gonna come back here and act as a bucket right there. You can fill it with water if you want to. And then here, we're gonna put those right there. Come under here and do one, two. One, two. And then one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Put one right there if you want to, or don't, it's up to you. And here we're gonna one, two, three, four. And then here, one, two, three. Just like that, and that should do it for the iron trap doors. The polished blackstone buttons. I'm gonna place four right here. Two back here. All along your road wheels. Up here. And right there. Just like that. And also here and here. There we go. Your end rod's gonna be your machine gun right there. 
your chest back here, right next to the exhaust. Your dark aqua trapdoor is going to put two there, one right there. Then we're going to put one right he um, here, just like that. And then one there and one there. And that should do it with that. Your flower pots, one, two right there with one right there. All right, so the last few materials, we're gonna grab green carpet, brown carpet, brown banner, green banner, crimson sign, coarse dirt, vines, and grass. Also, grab a light gray carpet as well. Light gray carpet's gonna go right there. Your banners, gonna put one right there and one right there. Your crimson sign's gonna go here and there. And then your carpet, you can put one there and then do it like that. Whichever direction or materials you want to use for these. Like so. There we go. And that will do that. So... Next, we kind of put remove this block and put dirt and dirt and put grass. Also, grab a dark oak wood sign and place it right there. There we go. And then we're going to come here, remove that, replace it with dirt, replace it with dirt, and put grass. And then you can put vines here, 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 and here. And then also come here, remove that, and here, remove that, and then place dirt, and dirt, and grass, and grass. Kind of makes it look more zombie-like. And just as an extra added detail, grab some more blackstone buttons, and we're going to place them here and here. Just to give it a little bit more detail. And there you go. You have successfully completed the Revenant Craft Panther. World of Tanks special version of the Panther Tank. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move to. And hit that subscribe button as well. I'd love an addition of my wonderful, wonderful subscriber. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do, like and subscribing and all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. And speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down in the description to come join, chat, and everything. Also get to receive a shout out at the beginning of the video for joining the Tanker Yard. It's open to everyone. No Patreon, no nothing. Locked behind anything. It's pretty free, pretty open. So with all that said, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>